Another important Unreal asset are blueprints. Blueprints can be compared to a custom symbol in Vectorworks, which are reusable, predefined assets that can have dynamic behaviors. They can also have DMX control parameters that we will cover in a later deep dive video. So if we take a look at the blueprints inside the starter content, we can find assets ranging from ceiling likes to different, project to different particle effects. So let's drag in a ceiling light into our scene. And then in the details panel, we can click edit blueprint ceiling. Here we will be met with the blueprint editor. Here's where you are able to add components and add all the behavior to the blueprints. If you go to the viewport, we can see everything that is part of the blueprint. So we can see that it is a static mesh of a ceiling and a point light. If you go to the construction graph, we can see everything that is controlling the behavior of the blueprint. So in this graph, we have a few parameters or variables that have been exposed that we are able to change. So let's close this. And if we duplicate this ceiling light by holding Alt and dragging, and I'm going to just going to set this material back to the metal material. In the details panel, we can see the light variables that have been exposed. And here I'm just going to make the brightness very intense so we can see what we're working on. And we can change the color to maybe a red. So here we can see that we can independently change the intensity and the color of just this copy, but this other blueprint is, is default. So blueprints can be as simple as combining a few components together to having full complex elements with dynamic scripts. Now that we have an understanding of the most commonly used Unreal asset types, let's put them all together and create our scene inside of a level.